how to make a detailed detailed like type of whatever this thing is so that yeah anyway we want to start with the plus sign add it then we want to start over this choose whatever layer you want these are bigger layers so they're going to be bigger so you make bigger art projects on this but i'm going to take smaller one now that we have this we're going to go to our tool section this thing and tap on this this thing this thing can bring you to depend you know what this is for line arts it's very good for that but i, I don't know i don't really use half of these this is actually very different i have ruined it felt of hard is for basically you need to color i guess i do not know so we probably have to get a look up on youtube for that things but i'm gonna, i'm i use a dip pen just the thickness as you want if you want to do full it will be that thick in this type of thing so you can see this button here you can see this button here if you do something wrong you just undo it and you do it too as well so don't worry about that I'm going to set this to about I'm going to set about um, 9 or 9 and I'm going to make a small circle you might want to like lower your thing this is makes your thing go lighter the full thing makes your thing go lighter okay so you want to make this at least this much and then you want to sketch This is smart style, but you can feel <laughs> why I always make it like that. Feel free to use this art style as well. I do not mind. Just make a normal random design. I do not know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> What's that? Anyway, this is creepy as hell. But anyway. We wanna go to this thingy, this thingy. And by the way, before you think about that, you wanna switch up to this thing. You see that here? In this corner. Oh, there's nothing here anymore. Some everything's gone. Uh. -huh. Anyway, sometimes happens. But do you see this thing in the corner? Tap it. You can change it to the razor. And if you tap it again, you change back to this tap this like you tap the button thing you see all these things i'm gonna tell you all about them right now so first we go here on the layers and then go plus sign we add another layer before you add that i think you might want to lo re re reduce the okay reduce this thing okay not this thing reduce it so it makes it lighter you use that much so you have to sketch on it basically make this highest and then sketch your nice design on it turn this to max of course and sketch your amazing design on it i think i might have turned this on no no it's okay then, uh. there are a few good tutorials about on youtube i do not know that well but i i can only draw dragons on this so yeah and then add this thing this is most important in every drawing book because it makes it look much, let's say, detailed, I guess. This is also a sketch because I'm not actually going to make this into a real one. But I guess I will. This is how I make my fur. It should be unruly. You want to scratch that? Let's add an unruly hairstyle as well. The eye is going to be a little weird place because I feel like making the hairstyle big, but you know, let's make it small. Who cares? Here we go. Then you want to add some fluff here. <laughs> then you want to add some fluff here. <laughs> then you add fluff here. Ta -da. And by the way, we just pinch it to zoom out and zoom in, okay? Use two fingers together. Yes, I use fingers when making anything. My own. Okay. 
Oh. Now I'm gonna add the ear like this. And this. Like, make it fluffy, I guess. Make the ear like this. My art is pretty bad. Make a random eye. Whatever type you want. Do you want to make an eye another layer? You can add multiple layers. Don't worry about how many layers you can add. This is pretty ugly, I know. Then you're gonna do this. And then here you go. Now add another layer and you're gonna add all the colors in those layers. Randomize it. Tap on this thing first and tap on magic wand and tap on any type of place you want to detail a color in. To do that, the color does not leave it. Look, you cannot color outside it. much I don't want to try a new thing I'm sorry no anyway just move it Now I'm gonna magically unsurrend it by just doing this. Tap on this thing. Select. Unselect. And then select an armament thing. You might want to you want to take felt tip hard for this. Oh, oh it's switching, it's switching. Yeah. You might not want to make it that big, of course, but I think I unselected it, of course. Now, you select how big you want from here. You know this, how big you want from here. See, and now you should randomly do this. This, this, this. You can make it detailed as much as you want. I'm going to fastly do this because I'm not making detailed. And then you want to go into this thing and take blur. I'm gonna blur it. Cause I'm just gonna phone though the it's a little live for me. This is why I use my small tip which is dabbed around it. Ta da! Let me add it everywhere now. I'm gonna select two three places at once. So I don't worry about how much you have to select or how much you can. Eesh. Blur it. Blur it. Here we go. And then unselect it. Now what we gonna do? My favorite part, details. You wanna go to this thing, this panel. I'm gonna go to multiply. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take a lighter shade of green. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. To the tools bar and then I'm gonna swipe down a little. I'm gonna take airbrush type sword 60%. I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna add it to the under parents of things like seriously. The under places. See that makes kind of like a shadow. You can instead of adding this, you can also if you want to make it look much more digital, you can just lower this. Take felt tip, go here. Take a darker shade of pink. It looks looks the same way, but the darker shade of pink looks more like digital drawings. Now 
for this experience i'm going to use this thing but on airbrush type so it okay because i like to use that it's a lot less messier okay i have to have to check that pretty soon so yeah perfect for details okay Luna, you're still looks very happy right now i'm gonna smudge it now blur it if you want to you can also blur the eyes i have not i have done this so many times in my drawings my old versions used to be all about this and let me go check i'm gonna add this later so that's how basically i do the shadowing and under this place of course shadowing now we're gonna go back we're gonna go add not this add okay we're gonna add multiply i'm gonna go to plus sign and then you're gonna add add so first we're gonna go at the eye and then we're gonna do this we're gonna take the color of the eye yes it makes neon take a darker color of the eye Dark in the yellow. Blur this. Multiply. Basically, follow what I'm doing. Make a normal eye shade, I guess. Because it's much more better. Add. Now, you might just think I'm doing something wrong here, but yeah, do it the maximum and then add shadows. It makes you look so much more like kind of like give it. A cooler look, I guess. Add another layer. Bite it. Go here. Dip and hard. Do what I'm doing. Crazy. Add another drag it drag it by this thingy to the lower to the down thingy and then select the colors grab felt tip hard first Mata? Sorry. The letter of page will be anyway. I'm we'll gonna add normal. Go here. White. Boom. I'll give you that type of thing. Background. We're not done.
walk away Can I make it like wiggly wiggly? And don't forget the most important thing your signature. I'm just kidding. Done. Wait a minute. And then you can also rewatch this thing. Ta-da! Have fun, everyone. Okay, mommy. Amazing.